welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is vivian i am the founder of apartment 20 energy healing and spirit shop i'm a certified crystal therapist energy worker and cacao ceremonialist this video is part two of my own personal crystal therapy experience. So if you haven't seen part one, I highly suggest that you go back onto my page and watch part one of the video so that you can kind of gather and understand what the heck I'm talking about in this video. <laughs> so, alrighty. In my previous video regarding my own crystal therapy experience, um, I spoke about my experience within the session. So just a little recap on crystal therapy, crystal healing. It's a, an extremely high vibrational and unique modality that allows you to tap into the subconscious and bring forward that which has been repressed. So we have repressed memories, repressed emotions, things that have been stored in the body or within the field. Crystal therapy helps us to witness that, to bring it into the conscious mind so that we can witness it from a higher perspective and resolve it. So I'm not gonna say like right then and there you get to resolve everything. You know, sometimes things take more than one session, but for the most part, it's brought into your conscious mind, into your conscious awareness, and then it's your job to continue the work. And I mean, I can testify to that. So if you remember my previous video about my crystal therapy experience, I told you guys about this like really intense pain that ended up showing up in my left shoulder. And it was just ugh, horrible, not cute. <laughs> it was not cute what I was feeling in the shoulder. Like it felt so tight and tense and I was still carrying that with me after the session. It, my shoulder was really, really tense. Um, to the point where I couldn't even do my breath work because the amount of blood flow or oxygen that was going into that area, I just, it was, I was not ready to handle it. Um, I had limited range of motion in my neck as well. And I felt pretty out of sorts. Um, you know, I, I'm a generally like pretty healthy person. I feel pretty good on a day-to-day -day basis. So when I don't feel good, it's definitely something that is just unusual, uncomfortable, and kind of like annoying. Um, so that, so there I was, like I had this thing in my shoulder and I'm like, dude, like WTF, like what does this mean? Obviously, like I know looking at somatic maps and understanding where emotions are stored in the body and like carrying the burden of the world on your shoulders. I know all of that. I know all of that. So, um, I was still traveling though. <laughs> I was still traveling. Uh, after that, I went to go visit a friend and we got to go to the forest. It was amazing. Shout out to Caro. Thank you for hosting me. You're amazing. You guys should definitely go check out my friend Caro's page. She's an incredible artist. Like, mind-blowing artist she loves drawing the natural world so if you love mushrooms especially definitely go check out her page i'll put the link for her page in the description for this video so i got to spend some days with her and we went in the lake and there were snakes and it was amazing <laughs> but i still had this like nagging feeling in my shoulder so then I go see my cousin who is an acupuncturist shout out to jenny larias <laughs> dr jenny larias <laughs> And, you know, for me, I'm like, cuffing, cupping is a save all. Like, cupping will take any tension out of your body. So I thought that the cupping was going to save me. So I'm just like, I can't wait to get into the city and get some cupping done, right? So she, she cupped me. We did some acupuncture. And it kind of just brought the... I'll call it an injury. I'm not going to get... I'm going to get to that in a little later in that video, but it brought the injury up more to the surface. Um, and 
I will work on inserting a photo of what it looked like after the cupping in this video. Hopefully I can figure out how to do that. Um, so that you guys can see like what I was talking or what I am talking about. Honey. Okay. So, so that's that. Um, and it didn't solve the problem. <laughs> to put it that way it did not solve the problem and then I was just like okay great now I still have to continue my journey with this freaking thing in my shoulder because I wasn't done traveling yet next I was going to Pennsylvania to host a cacao ceremony and women's circle a womb blessing ceremony with my sister freedom uh, who does amazing women's work. She's a body worker, energy healer. Like she is a medicine mama and a clinic or herbalist as well. So I'll also put her info in the description box. I mean, I feel so blessed to have so many amazing women in my life. I'll say that. <laughs> okay, sidebar. Um, so I, I go to my sister Freedom and I'm like, look, I need some body work, some energy work, something. And having the body work done was definitely helpful and the energy work was helpful as well you know as a person that is a facilitator and a practitioner it's i mean it's something that i tend to not give to myself as often allowing myself to receive in that capacity so it was wonderful oh my gosh i was like drinking it up so one of the things that she said about my session that she picked up on was my thymus, my energetic center was constricted, right? So yeah, I was complaining about like my shoulder and the tension that I always have like in my upper back as well, or these are more like my trapezoids, right? And then the tension in my shoulders. And she was saying like, it was just all coming like here and it was like closed almost, right? Like definitely related to the inner child. So I was like, okay, I mean, that totally makes sense because my crystal therapy experience was a lot of inner child work. So I'm like, okay, great. Feeling my, feeling better after that session. Okay, fast forward to when I get back home. So when I get back home, I'm like, okay, I cannot wait to go see my doctor. I have this amazing muscular skeletal doctor. I don't know what he does, but honey, um, he will get like, he'll get you right. <laughs> so I go to him and he's like, what the heck did you do? And I was just, you know, I didn't go into detail because if I start talking about this multi-dimensional healing with people that are just not even, not even, they're going to be like, lady, get out of my office. <laughs> so I just saw him, I had like a very physical experience due to an emotional experience. And he was just like, he's like, I just don't understand. This is not making sense because this is this looks like an injury and he's like have you ever like injured yourself before and i'm just like okay now things are clicking right because when i first started my crystal therapy session and i ended up in the driveway of my childhood home with one of my guides i didn't fully understand why i was there but him bringing that up i totally remembered the day that i fell off of my bike landed on my head and had to get stitches and I was really young and I don't think I ever actually dealt with that I know that I didn't deal with it <laughs> it's kind of like okay get your stitches pat on the butt there you go home but they didn't even consider thinking about the impact that that you know landing on my head would have had on the rest of my body especially you know the neck and shoulders so i'm like holy shit i'm connecting a lot of dots right now he has no idea what's happening in my brain while i'm on this table and he also said that the center like the muscles here in the center of my chest were so tight that they were just like pulling things in 
pulling it in and that they were holding on so tight that they were just like, no, I'm, I'm not letting go. I'm not letting go. I'm not letting go. And I'm just like, whoa, he's blowing my mind, connecting so many dots for me. He has no idea, but I was just really taken aback. Like, okay, it's making so much more sense now. And he says one other thing. Um, he says something and he's like, you know, it's like, they kind of just like tensed up like this, like, and he doesn't know this, but when he did that, what came up for me was sustos. So when you look at curanderismo, if someone has a sustos, a scare, right? Let's say like you're frightened, you're scared. That's considered a shock where part of your spirit leaves your body to protect itself. So, click, 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 and then I'm just like, oh, soul retrieval. So all of this, right? And I'm just like, wow, okay. I haven't even begun to integrate. I was just very like hyper-focused on the present physical sensation that was in my body. So once I begin to integrate this initiation, this crystal therapy, oh, the all hell broke loose. The shit hit the fan. <laughs> My inner child was livid, livid, livid. She was raging, raging. I, oh, let me tell you. <laughs> if I had little me, like, to take care of physically in my household, I would maybe be pulling my hair out <laughs> or hiding in the bathroom because my inner child was just not happy. It was so, it all became so clear how much anger I was storing in my body, how angry my inner child was. And I just let her be angry. I let her be angry. I let myself feel that anger because through that anger, I also realized all of the old stories, <laughs> all of the old stories that I was still allowing to play out in my life. All of the old stories that weren't true anymore. They, they weren't true. But I just let them keep playing, even though they were not true. So it was so eye-opening um, to, to recognize how I actually felt. And once I got through the rage, right? Because underneath anger, underneath all that rage is always sadness. It's grief. So once I got past the angry part, I went into the sad part. And she was sad. She was sad. She was alone. She felt so misunderstood. I mean, I'm, I must have journaled dozens and dozens of pages a day. And that was super healing. But the intensity of it was, I'm comparing it to like, a second dark night of the soul. I thought I was done. <laughs> I thought it was done. I think I thought I had my first one and I was like, listen, I'm good. <laughs> I had, a, yeah, we'll call it a second dark night of the soul. Which, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things going on there. I had a lot to integrate from my crystal therapy. I had a lot to integrate from my previous medicine ceremonies. I did a lot of, I went into a lot of healing spaces this year and the initiation for the next level of my crystal therapy was a catalyst where it's like taking everything that I've already done previously, you know, like, 
like pff, this the poof are like pieces of me shattering into dust and then me figuring out how to put myself back together again and it was it was a you know if you've experienced a dark night of the soul then you know what i'm talking about if you haven't it is a challenging time where you're really questioning who you are what you're doing why you do what you do feeling like it doesn't matter or it matters way too much uh sometimes it comes off as a state of confusion right you're just like you're confused you're just like what the fuck is actually happening in the world like what the frick is actually happening in the spirit world like hold on what is real what is not real and it's a journey of self-discovery of rediscovery of remembering recreating yourself and you know there's like apathy a lack of motivation isolating yourself and then complaining that you're isolated because no one understands you that's a story so i had to do a lot of work i was drinking a lot of cacao i was journaling a lot and working with my crystal allies let me tell you that rose quartz came through like it never has before oh my gosh incredible totally underestimated i underestimated rose quartz <laughs> for a long time and I'll probably, I'll make another video about how I was using the rose quartz to, throughout this process. Um, but that rose quartz was holding me down big time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal Data. <sighs> so I'm telling you all of this to give you an idea of what crystal therapy can do for you. Because not most people realize how profound this healing is. You know, it's just, they're, yeah, it's not just like beautiful putting crystals on your body, like wearing a crystal necklace or bracelets, blah, 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 blah. Like, they will fucking take you there. Like, they will blow your mind open and be like, <laughs> look at yourself. Look at yourself in my shiny reflection. Because you're bugging. You're tripping right now. And because they love to be in the state of the crystalline consciousness, that's what they are. And they want you to recognize the own crystalline structure within yourself. They're like, let's help you. We got to break through these denser vibrations, bring you up to this crystalline frequency, right? But to the point that you can handle, that you can manage. It's not gonna take you anywhere that you're not ready to go. And I want everyone to understand that because I know like sometimes I am explaining it, I'm just like, and people are just like, that sounds awful. I don't wanna go through that. Do you wanna become the best version of yourself? Do you wanna stop living in the past? Do you want to ascend? Do you want to live a beautiful, magnificent, radiant life? Do you want to be happy? Do you want to be yourself? To live an authentic life? Do you want to be in your purpose? This is the work that is required. And sometimes it's fluffy and amazing and giddy. And sometimes you're in the depths of your shadow. For months at a time but it's your shadow like it's you it's the parts of yourself that you have refused to look at that you have refused to love no one's going to do that but you and the longer you wait so to, to start taking on that responsibility the harder it is boo I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to front. The longer you wait, the harder it's going to be down the road. So just saying, just saying. 
so since then <laughs> since then i've have i have had tests where i have had to overcome myself overcome my old stories um stories of not being good enough or just being afraid to step into my potential playing small and it's always a choice are you going to continue to live in the old story that's keeping you unhappy or are you going to say yes despite the fear and move forward and trust 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 the unknown is always going to seem scary because we always want to be in control. So friends, crystal therapy is fill in the blank. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's amazing. And it's a super unique modality that requires you to take responsibility. Like you gotta go into your own mind and see what's in there. As the facilitator, as the space holder, sure, we're holding the container and being the moderator for the session, but you, it's you, your higher self, your subconscious, your guides, your ancestors, putting the puzzle pieces together. So I hope you found this video interesting. <laughs> uh, kind of just like relived. <laughs> I relived a little bit of that right now, but you know, it was, it was, it was heavy. It was difficult, but here I stand before you smiling and still learning about myself, still embracing life still saying yes to experiences that scare me, being willing to grow. And I want the same for you. I want the same for everyone. I want everyone to literally live their best life. That's it. I just literally want you to live your best life and to realize that the world is so full of magic that it's almost comical <laughs> how full of magic the world is. So I'll leave you with that and I really hope that you consider exploring this modality. If you are interested in having your own crystal therapy session, you can reach out to me. I facilitate these sessions virtually anyone all over the world. Like I have clients in South America, Mexico, Ireland, west coast east coast germany like everywhere so don't be like oh my god virtual healings don't work they totally work and i also host in-person sessions right now in florida south florida or in nyc depending on where i am at the time of the year so if you're interested in getting over your shit <laughs> upgrading your life and experiencing the magic of crystal healing then click the link in the description box that'll take you to my website feel free to email me with any questions i'm happy to hop on a discovery call with you to kind of see where you're at and answer any questions and if you're ready to just jump right in just head to my website and book a session it'll be super amazing i'm looking forward to meeting all of you and taking you through this multi-dimensional amazing magical crystal journey <laughs> ciao